Today I'm going to talk about the biggest lesson I learned in my 40 plus years as a journalist. I thought about it, it didn't need a lot of thinking. I think without a doubt, the most important part, the most important lesson is one's integrity. The need to build that integrity and to always respect it, never compromise it, because once you have sullied your reputation, I think it's really difficult to recover. And uh, the lesson I learned, particularly as a junior journalist, working on the magistrates' courts, the lower courts, lower courts in uh, Pretoria, South Africa, where I became quite friendly with one of the city uh, health inspectors who came and tipped me off that a very, very large supermarket change, chain, uh, our biggest advertiser in our newspaper, actually, had pled guilty to public health violation in the fresh meat counter in one of its biggest stores in the city and he had uh, found the violations it was in fact a rat's nest with uh, live rats underneath the counter and he had put it in his report and it was appended to the uh, record and the company came into court pled guilty paid a fine and uh, no evidence was led in the court I had made the assumption that the inspector's report, which he said had been attached to the prosecutor's document, was public record. So I ran the story in our newspaper. Don't forget, this was our biggest advertiser. And uh, we got a lawyer's letter wanting to know how we had gotten details because the details that had been cited in the newspaper were not in the court record. And I rushed off to the court, and sure enough, the report had not been attached. So I was in a situation where the lawyers wanted to know, demanded to know who gave us the information. I phoned my contact and he, he was terrified. He'd been there for like 20 years, married with children. He knew he was going to lose his job. This was a way to get at him. So I went to go and see my editor and I said, uh, look, it's my fault. I didn't check with myself. I took him at his word. He believed that the, the document was there and rather than name him, just blame me for sloppiness and I'll resign or they could fire me. I felt it was the best thing to do, it was my mistake. And my editor sat on it, he never said a word, he was pretty fed up. You can imagine, the biggest advertiser, the manager of the, the commercial manager of the business was not pleased. And I heard nothing until about, after about 10 days, we were at a social function. And I said to my boss, what has he decided? And he looked at me and he said, we're not telling them how we got the information. That's it. Case closed. But that was my big, big lesson. Always check. Check everything. People's jobs and lives can be on the line based on what you print, even if it's true. So integrity is really important. And as a storyteller, do your homework. Check all the facts and safeguard your...